So, in class we talked about the warranty of my new iPhone. And what we thought, we discussed what would be a good warranty and not a good warranty, and that's what this example is going to be about. So, the Z is equal to the warranty minus the mean life expectancy divided by the standard deviation. Now, the warranty is the specific observation in question that we talked about when we calculated z-scores. The mean life expectancy is just the mean value, and the standard deviation is just the standard deviation of how long one of these iPhones will last. So, we have x, which is the specific observation, minus the mean, or mu, divided by sigma, or the standard deviation. So, let's, um, let's just assume that the mean is equal to 48 months. That means that the, on average, an iPhone is going to last 48 months. The warranty is for 24 months. The standard deviation is 12 months. So, Z is equal to the X value of the specific value, which is 24 months, minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, which is equal to 24 months minus 48 months divided by 12 months, which is equal to negative 24 divided by 12, which is equal to negative 2. So let's put this on a visual map. So what we're asking is, what's the probability of an iPhone not making it at least 24 months? It's going to break before its warranty period. The first thing we do is put the 48 months right in the middle, which is the mean value. We know the z-score is 0. We put in the warranty period, which is 24 months. We know the z-score is negative 2. We're interested in all the area to the left of 24 months, which means 12 months or 23 months. It's all the area to the left of 24 months, which is the green area, the shaded area. We know that equals 0 0.0228 if we look it up in, in one of your tables in the back of the book, or 2.28. That means there's a 2.28% chance that an iPhone is not going to make it 24 months and Apple is going to have to replace it. So, another way to look at this is, again, we do 48 months in the mean area. The z-score is 0. 24 months is the observation in question. The z-score is negative 2. Now, some of your tables, well, you have to look up the area between 0 and negative 2. And in this case, it's this yellow area. And if you look that up, it should be 0 0.4772. We know that 0 0.500 represents all the area to the left of the mean. So if we take 0 0.5000 minus 0 0.4772, we get 0 0.0228. Or, and that's that area right there, the green area in question. Again, we could always always say that was 2.28% as well. And you know what? That does it for this podcast as well. Thanks for tuning in.